today I'm going to do the unboxing for March, Mother Goose time. This one is at the pond. And what Mother Goose time is, is I use it for my homeschooling with Bella, who's three. And now I'm starting to involve Trinity, who's 16 months. And she's really interested in all the projects and stuff we do. She always does the reading and letters and things like that she already did with us. But I didn't have supplies for the projects with her. So um, this month we're adding it in for Trinity. So you'll see her doing projects on the blog. And I'm pretty excited for that. So what this is, is it's a monthly box that you can get and it will have enough projects for 20 days worth of activities. And everything in it is supplied for you. So it has all of your supplies except for like glue and paint. And it comes with lesson plans and everything is detailed out every day for you and what you're, you'll be able to do. So the first bag you'll get is the teacher tool bag and in this each month you get a planning journal and your teacher guide and in these it'll tell you exactly what you're going to do. You can um, change it to what works for you. I don't do all of the activities because me and Bella don't have a lot of time. Um, but for people who have preschools or maybe they have the time to do it all day, um, you can really stretch it out and do, it'll give you things to do for a whole day's work. So day one is turtle. And you can kind of see it gives you ideas of things to do for turtle. And then I always talk about the planning journal has my favorite page, which is the overview. And it'll show you all the projects you're going to do that month. So it looks like we're going to make a little turtle. Then you are going to learn about all the animals and all the things that are at pond. So that's cute. And I like this page because I'll go in and I'll say, okay, day one we're making a turtle. And I'll kind of assess if I'm going to use paint or markers. And I'll pick Bella's outfit depending on that. Like these ones normally I'll do, um, I'll put her in clothes that she can get dirty because I know she's going to use paint. So in your teacher tool bag, Something I haven't talked about is you get an assessment poster. And when you first sign up with Mother Goose Time, they give you a whole welcome pack. And in there, it will give you things to keep track of your child. And you can keep track of their skills and assess where they're going and how they're developing. And each day in here and on in your projects, it will have it marked on what skill you're learning. And then you can go on here and kind of see what they're gonna be learning about, like fine motor skills, gross motor skills, health and safety, um, listening, communication, vocabulary, concepts, letter word recognition, shapes, numbers, patterns, measurement, and it goes all through. And I'm telling you, the things Bella learns with this, I would have never thought to teach a three-year-old and they did a project a few boxes ago, and it was teaching her how to dial 911. And she was two at the time. And she, she caught on. She caught on because they made it so creative. And I love the, the things she gets to learn about. But in here, you get to keep track of those things. And she has a whole planner full of all of her projects. And then on the back, you can mark what skill she learned. And then later in the year, you can go through and see how much she's developed compared to what she started with. So it'll be really interesting. I'll have to blog about that and show you guys how she's advanced since we started. So also in your teacher tool bag, you get your monthly CD, which is Dancing at the Pond. Our manipulatives look like little ducks. And so, you have yellow and green, and you have big and small. And projects I'll do with Bella is I'll have her separate the colors, separate the yellow with the green, or match the big ones with the little ones. So there's so many things you can do with those. Oh, and then she got a magnifying glass. She's gonna love this. She's gonna love that. And then our new shape is a diamond. 
So she'll like that. Each month you get a new shape. You get new manipulatives. You get new letters, new color, extra materials. So like I said, they supply you with all the materials for like this is what you'll use to make the turtle shell and it's just awesome. So circle time. Circle time we have our display board and it looks exactly like this. And each month you get new letters, you get new calendar, you get your daily topic poster, and you get new counting fish and these little ducklings. They have emotions on them. It's like caring, loving. And each month they learn something new. So this month we're gonna do blue, which used to be Bella's favorite color. And it looks like the letters R, F, K, and P. And you get new cookie cutters every month. So by the end of the year, we'll have the whole collection of the alphabet and cookie cutters. We'll have all the shapes and stamps. We'll have all the colors. It's really neat. And we use the cookie cutters for Play-Doh. We use them to trace on the paper. I'm actually going to use those to trace on the Magna Doodle. Bella's been really interested in the Magna Doodle, so we'll use that. And then you get your Circle Time Think songs. So you pop these out and you use your CD and it has blank songs about words. And then you guys each day fill in um, the songs, which is really cute. Get a theme poster, which the kids can search for items. And Bella will probably use her new magnifying glass to do that. You get your new calendar, which Bella loves gluing on the days. And that's how we have taught her Sunday through Saturday. And we'll say today is Monday, the 1st of March or whatever. That's not right, but you know. And she's able to, actually Trinity was able to pull these out. She started pulling these out. They really like doing that. So it uses a lot of their motor skills to be able to help Peel these off, put glue on the back, glue them on. And Trinity it is so small, young, but she's able to do these things too, which you wouldn't really think to let your 16-month-old baby do that, but she likes it. And each month you get your letter posters, and then you get these cube cards which you cut, and they go in a cube, and we roll the cube, and then we say, um, I'll put like all the K things together and then we'll say, oh, does key start with K or kangaroo start with K? And we, that one's kind of upside down, but you get the idea. And then you get your new shape and we're going to learn about forgiving and the seven, seven and 17. And I like that Mother Goose Time does that as well. They'll give you a little bit at a time so you're not overwhelming your kid with learning all the numbers at one time. You focus on a couple numbers at a time and so they really get to know them throughout the month. And I really like that they do that. And there's a holiday this month so you get a free packet for the holidays so it's St. Patrick's Day. And look at these big gold coins, they're huge. And in a celebration kit, they normally give you lots of ideas for to have like a party. And it'll be in here like games you can do, foods you can make. And last month we did Valentine's Day, which of course is Bella's favorite. But they give you all these ideas on things to do. And then they give you games. It looks like you're going to play games. Bella will like that. Those are those big gold coins. And then there's a bunch of stuff in there. With the numbers and shamrocks. And so I'll go through the days and kind of show you um, the 20 days. Each week tends to have a theme. So like if the fir first week will be animals and then the second week will be plants or, you know, it goes with the theme. So day one is turtle. And then inside it has all your supplies for day one. Day two is snake. Bella's really interested in snakes. Got all your supplies for some bees. And 
Day three is Tadpole. It's got your supplies in there, and then it's got my little journal, which is where each day you can have your child draw on their Bella's journal I let her do on her own, so I don't really help her because I want to see at the end of the year how much she's changed in what she does with it. But it'll give you ideas of what to do with it in your book and on the page. It'll say blue or seven and drawing the seven and things like that. And you get one of these each month. Day four is frog. Day five is duck. So this is the next week, and day six is Submerged Plants. And it's got a little boy frog in there, and it looks like you're gonna play a game. Day seven, Bog Plants. And then our, like our puzzle and our book is in this one. So I say it every time. I love the books that come in your box. These are like real books and they're always so pretty. This one's at the pond and Trinity and Bella both like the books. So you can kind of see how bright they are. And this one, this one looks really neat. It's actually got real pictures. So, and it says, just for an example, it says, what would you like to eat a bug? <laughs> So it kind of gives the kids ways to play with it and interact. And it says, at the pond, dragonflies dance among the plants. What's your best dance move? Things like that. It just gets Bella involved and she really likes it. And then the puzzle, it's a dragonfly, so that's cool. It's like, I love the puzzles. We have a little collection of puzzles and we have a little collection of books. And we just reuse them and play with them and read them. And I will say the nursery rhyme one is my favorite book so far because we didn't have any nursery rhymes in books. So this is day eight, emergent pond plant. And you think to yourself, emergent? Am I gonna teach my kid that? And then Bella will say words like that big and it cracks me up, but it's awesome and I like it. You wouldn't think to teach her those things, but she really, you tell her and she'll say it. So this is floating pond plant. And this one comes with like sand and rock. Day 10, algae, glitter, oh my. Day 11, dragonfly, oh. Day 12, mosquito. She was actually asking about mosquitoes yesterday, so I kind of scared her, hopefully. <laughs> she'll have a better way of explaining it. <laughs> Day 13, water strider. So it looks like you're gonna play game. Day 14, mayfly. I don't even know what these bugs are. I, I don't know the right words for them. Day 15, back swimmer. Day 16, snail. She'll like that one. We found one today in the yard. It's got some sand, and it looks like you're going to make a snail trail. So it's a cute idea. She actually asked, he's sticky. How does he move? She'll like that. Day 17, crawfish. Got your supplies in there. Day 18, lizard. That's cool. They give you a little brush. I always love seeing what we're going to do because it's things I would never think of. D19 alligator, and it looks like you're going to texturize, probably paint, and then texturize and make the, the scales because it's got some black sand in there. And then day 20, fish. And then it's got the page for the portfolio that you can put. And I have little sections, they just have plastic dividers, and then you can put in there things they made that month. This is cool, it looks like you're gonna fill the bag with like 
water and rocks and grass, probably from the yard and make your own pond. I just love the stuff they come up with because I would never think of teaching her these things. And it's so cheap compared to trying to make this up on your own, going and getting the supplies. I, I couldn't even imagine how much it would cost and how much time it would take. So I love this because you can take these anywhere. You can take this. You can use the crafts. Say you don't have time that day, you can save them for another day. And it's just awesome. And so um, this month I got for free, but I was a paying customer. And I totally recommend doing this if you have a toddler at home. Even if, like I work, so it's not something you have to do all day. It can be something you guys just do together. Like me and Bella have done this in like 30 minutes. We'll be like, you want to make a craft? And we'll go in and we'll make a craft or we'll play a game. And it's not something you have to do all day. It's not something... I get asked a lot, oh, you homeschool? It's like, no, but I do projects with Bella, and we, like I teach her things, but I don't plan on homeschooling her after preschool, but a lot of people, you know, if you are planning on homeschooling, this could be something where you, it would be really good practice, I think. And I started Bella when she was two and a half, maybe, and she liked it from the beginning. Trinity is She's 16 months and she's going to start this month. So I think really it depends on your kid and what they like to do. But don't estimate your child because I am constantly amazed at what Bella understands. And now Trinity. Trinity loves it just as much. So I wasn't even going to include her in it, like not on the projects. But when I sat her down and gave her supplies, she was able to hold the glue stick. She was able to scoop squeeze the thing. She's able to put things on. She's able to rip them apart. So don't underestimate your child as well. And if you have any questions, just ask it in the comments. Thanks guys.